Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing theater related things. I also am going to be posting covers of songs, some original songs, because I do actually write music. I'm going to be doing videos on like theater and stuff and like my routines for like self tapes and things like that. Um, basically documenting my journey of becoming a professional actor. Um, because that's what I'm studying to do. I'm actually studying through the Broadway Collective. If you don't know who they are, you should definitely go check them out. They're amazing. Um, I've learned so much through them. Today, we're going to be talking about my self-tape routine. So let's get into it. I would like to preface this by saying I am by no means a professional actor. This is not what everyone does because everyone has something different that they do but i always like to hear what other people do and i take something from everyone's routine and i make it into my own so i'm going to do that for everyone else first off let's talk about routines and like when to do it because i feel like there's such like a stigma that you have to do it in a scheduled time that you've made yourself i really don't like to do that um I set out a day that I didn't want to have it done by, um, but never a set time. I always do it the day before it's actually due so that I have the full 24 hours plus the amount of hours in the next day to be able to edit it together, to be able to retake things, clean things that I need to clean. Normally, I set the entire day to be open for filming. Um, I'm homeschooled, so it's a lot easier for me. Obviously, if you are a person that goes to a school or a person that has work, that's not going to be easier for you, but that's what's easiest for me. I normally wake up, I have a breakfast, always have breakfast before you self-tape. I drink at least one vat of water before I just self-tape, and then I drink one of them during my self-tapes, because keeping yourself hydrated is best, especially during singing self-tapes. Never sing dehydrated, that will ruin you. Um, not ruin you, but like, you will give your best. As far as putting on makeup in the morning goes, I normally just do like a normal stage of makeup, like what I'm wearing right now. Uh, I definitely put a lot, a bit more concealer under my eyes because I don't wear glasses during my self-tapes. So this is what you're getting. So I put stuff, I put more under here than I probably would if I'm wearing my glasses because you can see eye bags. And if I've just woken up, there's no more, eye, there's more eye bags. So I do my vocal warm ups. I use a very specific YouTube video every single time I do a self tape. I don't know if you should do that. I also, I use a few different um, videos, so I will link them down below for the ones that I personally use. I also found um, a vocal exercise video. So I use that sometimes if I'm like, especially if I have anxiety, cause the woman like, she moves a lot. So it helps get my like inner, turmoil out you know i like to set myself for like 20 minutes of filming and then my brain gets all frizzled so i try not to film more than 20 minutes but i've definitely filmed for more than 20 minutes especially this morning because i was doing two songs a monologue and a dance so so much hap so much was happening could not fit it all into 20 minutes that's just not possible so Sometimes it takes 20, depending, it depends on what I'm self-taping. I don't take more than three takes though. Three takes and I'm out. I cannot stress this enough. Do not get in your own head. That is something I'm told all the time at the Broadway Collective. Do not get in your own head. Do not, do not make yourself feel like you need to be perfect because you're never going to be perfect. One take is going to look completely different from the actual performance. One take is going to look completely different to callbacks. You don't need to do a million takes. Three takes and you're out. As far as noise goes, I know everyone has different noise levels in their house or wherever they're filming. Um, normally I try to self tape when most of the family members in my house are gone. Um, so my father's at work, my mom's doing something and my sister's moved out. So I don't really have to worry about that. But if she's over, I don't self tape because there's no way I'm going to be able to get as many people in my house as I have to be quiet all at once. So film when as little people are there, but if there's like one or two people there, just ask them to be quiet. But if they aren't, people understand, especially nowadays, that um, there are people, there are other people in the world. They understand. In New York, you will never have a quiet studio. So having a 
completely quiet self tape is also virtually impossible. Get yourself, if you can get yourself a ring light, get yourself a ring light. My self tapes have gotten so much better quality wise since I got a ring light compared to before. I got mine at Walmart. It was on sale for like $15. Um, but they're sold everywhere now because everyone's using them. So go get yourself a ring light if you can. Uh, as far as baggy clothes, um, clothing in general, I think sometimes you can get away with some baggy clothes, but I tend to wear more like dresses, rompers, blouses. For dance self tapes, I wear leggings, black pants, sweatpants, and a black shirt, a black tank top, a black crop top. Um, all depends on the situation of what I'm doing. Shoes wise, if the self taper says wear these kind of shoes, wear those kind of shoes if you have them. Never go shoeless because um, that makes you look unprepared. Obviously, if you don't have those shoes and there's no way for you to get those shoes, they will understand. But um, just choosing not to wear jazz shoes or character shoes or the shoe that they told you to wear that just makes you look a bit unprofessional. I hope this helped someone and I look forward to making more videos in the future. Um, if you have something that you want me to talk about, something that um, you want me to want to know, tell me in the comments, DM me. Uh, I forgot to film an outro, so um, bye. <laughs>